Hello, I'm Caroline Cooper and welcome to the next in my mini video series of the A to Z of creating a service culture. Now as a customer, the last thing that you want to hear when you're making a general inquiry about something is, oh, I'm sorry, that's such and such a department, they've all gone home, can you phone them out tomorrow please? Or if you're making a complaint or you've got a problem, it's to say, oh no, that's nothing to do with us, you need to speak to so and so, without offering to put you through to whoever it is that could deal with that particular problem or complaint. It's just as frustrating as a line manager when you hear one of your team saying, oh no, sorry, that's not my job, or well, that's not my fault. So today we're onto the letter O, and O is about taking ownership. So just how do you get your team members to take ownership? Well, I believe that there are three factors. The first is setting your expectations. What is it that you actually want them to take ownership of? So that could be taking responsibility for um, feeding back after a customer complaint and letting that customer know that you'll deal with it and you'll pass it on to the appropriate person. Or it could be as simple as just picking up a piece of litter in the car park. The second factor is to involve your team. So although you might be stipulating your expectations in terms of what you want them to take ownership of, if you involve them in identifying why it's important, not just from a company perspective, but also what's in it for them to take ownership, and also how they're gonna go about that and what they need or what resources and things they need in order to do that, then you're gonna get far more commitment from them because it's their idea rather than your idea. And then the third factor is ensuring then that all of those things that they've asked for in terms of where they need help or the resources, that you supply those things. And that might be giving them authority, it could be giving them access to information, it could be as simple as having a little process or system in place in order to make it as easy for them as possible. So thinking about those three factors, of course, it's not just your customer facing teams. Anybody who your customer might come in contact with, maybe even out of hours when somebody else answers the phone or it could be a third party provider, needs to be prepared to take ownership because of course your customer won't differentiate. As far as they're concerned, that person represents your business. So ensure that everybody whoever they are who has any contact at any time with customers is prepared to take that ownership. So that's all from me for today. I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Bye for now.